Welcome everybody to the weekly gig. Sam just finished stretching his asshole out. Yeah. Um, With the help of me. So Hunter and I both grabbed a butt cheek and um, yeah, our fingers got a little too close. I kind of wasn't comfortable with how close our fingers got to the inside of his ass. I tried to go in. We, we, okay, well Hunter tried to go in. I wasn't, I wasn't too into it. I didn't want my fingers to smell for the next couple of days, but so we, we stretched Sam out for him, but he's good to go now. And, and then we started recording. Sam uh-huh. is absolutely uh, goaded with the sauce now. Um, yeah. So when I was pooping, I was thinking. <laughs> oh, okay. I remember yesterday when I was at Walmart, I found this really cool looking jelly that you can buy. Literally just mint jelly. It's green. Yeah. It's bright green. And For both toast. of us, me and Melanie both had the same response. Which is what Hunter said a second ago. Fucking ew. <laughs> and I said, we should get it anyways. So we got it. And I just made a peanut butter and jelly sandwich with it. Oh. And No, no, tr- that's not what it's for. Yeah, it is. There's no fucking way that's what that's no, for. No, it's literally for that. It was next to the peanut butter. Uh, I don't know. I'm that's just giving just a the, food That's review. just where the jelly is, Sam. I mean, if you okay. guys don't mint jelly. Wanna, no, you can try it. You don't want to listen to me throw up yeah, right now. Yeah, I, I do. I might. I mean, I might like it. I don't know. You like it? So I'll be disgusted. I mean, maybe with report of the week. On its own. Going in. Mm. <laughs> Hold on, I taste bread. We gotta have the silence, just like report of the week. Um. <laughs> it took a second for my brain to realize what was happening even though I just explained it yeah I think it's it's doable it's doable I can eat this I can eat it minty peanut you know I'm just Maybe take another I bite here this. <laughs> oh. yeah <laughs> let me get uh, some without the crust he eats half his food before he starts talking. I love it. <laughs> Low key mukbangs. Yeah. Well, it's like that. That one picture I sent you, where it was like him and Nakata Avocado had the same title, but entirely different thumbnails. Yeah. You know, but you can't have good without evil. You can't have light without dark. Nick's a G, dude. What are you talking about? What did you say? Nick. I said, Nick's a G, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> he called him a Jew. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> no. 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 You know what? I like this a lot. Oh, my God. What? Cow. I like Hold it. On. I don't know. The mint isn't too strong. It's like just like a little hint. Of hint of mint, it doesn't like stay. You know, how mint stays in your mouth a little too long. Mm. This doesn't. So it's, I like it's that. a I sweet, that. it's a sweeter peanut butter sandwich with some complexity. I don't like that. It makes me think, you know. Yes. Uh, All right, we can move on. That was pretty good. Go get it. Is it your Walmart? No. I uh, don't. Uh, I'll have to say no. You know, to that. I'll try yours. I'll try yours, Sam. I, if it's not, if you don't eat it all, <laughs> you know, I'll, I'll come up next time. And I'll bring it over. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you can do that. It sounds disgusting. Um, speaking of next time, uh, last time Sam was here it was last weekend, and we did do the drunk podcast. Um, they know as you as you've seen, <laughs> but this isn't coming out of, before it. <laughs> I know, I know. Twenty one and a half. We recorded it. We recorded it four hours ago, not hours. Four days ago, five days ago. Yeah, we recorded it four hours ago. Um, it was fun. It was really good. I think it came out really nice. Yeah, I it was pretty good for our first sp- one. I liked it. Speed run edited all of them. They're all uploaded. They're all lined up to go. And it was a good time. <coughs> Fuck. 
good. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm not gonna cough anymore. My face is so hot. <laughs> Is that what I sounded like? <laughs> I'm you, so self-indulgent. Did, was it the water? <laughs> yeah. Uh, did you uh, have like a chunk? Is there mint stuck in your throat? It wasn't that clear. That's why I took a drink. It didn't work. Oh, it's fucking hilarious. <clears throat> I hope you don't have food stuck in that like <sighs> section between your mouth and your nose. That sucks. That really sucks. <laughs> Is that still living in there? Did it rot yet? What? I remember it happened to you like a fucking year or two ago. No, I got it out. <laughs> what the like, fuck? I got it out like that day, but <clears throat> it was re it was big annoying. Yeah. Um, one regret that I have with the drunk podcast is that I don't. Sam we Sam didn't... got there, but he didn't get there. No, I wasn't my normal self. I. I know what I need to do. I need to stop drinking your push, your pussy drinks. I we're not going Drink out to White eat Claus. next time. <laughs> we're definitely we ate too next much. Time. You guys ate too much. Well, that we're not, pizza? I'm not going to sit down for a whole meal. I like. I'd rather eat like a slight, like one slice of pizza and just go for it. And then when I'm drunk as shit, eat another piece of pizza. That's my type of night. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, I fucking, guess. That is weird. I've every time that I've like drank, I've eaten before I got drunk. I've never eaten while drunk. Mm. Uh, I feel like it loses taste. Like if you want to really? like but know what it, it feels isn't it like, just so satisfying to lose your taste with COVID. Go get blasted and try and enjoy a slice of fucking Pizza Hut. <laughs> Specifically, <clears throat> yeah, only Pizza Hut, <laughs> nothing else. Yeah, I like Pizza Hut, so <clears throat> yeah, uh, people don't like Pizza Hut. Well, that's them, not me. <clears throat> I like Pizza Hut. What's the worst pizza place for you guys? Uh, Domino's. Um, you better. haven't had Domino's in a long time, there's so much better now. Well, so Hunter, do you like garlic? Yeah. <laughs> you might like it. You might like it if you try. So it. <clears throat> Domino's like five, no, probably maybe even longer than five years ago. They completely redid all of their shit because everybody said that they didn't like it, and they've they've come back. Um, I don't really know the worst pizza I've had. Probably like there's this one place downtown that didn't impress me. Uh, I don't think they're open anymore. What was it? So that's cool. What was the name? Because they're still there. Oh. Their pizza is <laughs> well, pretty I fucking also... bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I also didn't have the pizza. I had fucking cheesy garlic bread. It was just a slice of like fucking provolone on top of <laughs> garlic bread. It was just not it. It was not. Pizza is very bad. It tastes super bland. And the pizza are like super Republican. And just, uh, -uh. uh, they don't pay their workers well at all. Fuck them. Yeah, they fucking took the Facebook, they took a picture of, uh, the gas prices, because they're located, like, right in front of a gas station, and, uh, in their post, they were like, tip the delivery drivers really well, because Joe Biden's increasing <clears throat> the fucking gas prices. And all they got were just fucking hate comments. They're like, maybe you should pay your fucking yeah. workers a better wage and they'd be able to afford gas. Yeah, or like fucking... <coughs> maybe you should reimburse the miles. Yeah. They're driving on your behalf. Fucking stupid. Nah, that's crazy. Uh, but also, yes, do tip your piece of drivers. Uh... As much as you can afford, of course. Don't feel bad for not being able to afford a good tip. But on Don't like a get twenty dollar, on a, you can't afford the tip. Damn. I mean, yeah. Go pick it up, yeah. you lazy asshole. Exactly. That's true. 
That's true. I usually pick it up anyways because I'm a cheap skate. <laughs> but that's that's time for another day. <laughs> no, we have all the time. Talk about it. So my favorite pizza is Domino's. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had Papa John's. I don't care. I for hear Papa it's John's. pretty banging. I I don't care for Papa John's either. <clears throat> Where is there terrible, one? But. Yeah, around here, fucking nowhere. Yeah, it's hard to get Papa John's. You have to get closer to Pittsburgh. I I'm wouldn't mind trying you. it, but if I don't think a, I've ever had it in my life. I haven't. If you get a Domino's pan pizza, it'll change your life. <clears throat> it's pretty good. I don't know what my worst, like what the worst pizza place for me is. Like I can't think of it. Everyone so shits on pizza. Little Caesars, but I love it. Little Caesars. They're, okay. Okay. <laughs> their just, cheesy garlic bread, or their fucking crazy bread, is amazing. Unless you're heating it up the next day. Then it loses all of its flavor for oh, no yeah. reason. <laughs> all the, like, salty spices on top just become neutralized. It's true. I don't think I've ever had their, but their pizza, I don't know. So good. Plus, it's five dollars and it's ready for you right there. It's hot and it's ready. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with that. Also, Little Caesars are the goat because Mr. Caesar and his wife. Uh, I don't know if y'all heard about this, but I saw it on TikTok. So when Rosa Parks got into her little trouble, the owner of Little Caesars and his wife paid her rent oh. for years. I didn't know. Uh, that's pretty cool. So that's cool. pretty cool. Good job, Little Caesars. Everybody support, you know, support those who support others, right? Yes, exactly. It's hot and it's ready. It may not be good, but it's hot and it's ready, and they support. There's a the bar. Fuck, bro. <laughs> Hunter, one of these days on your way home, you should get the Batman calzone for us. Oh, I forgot that he did that. <laughs> The sides I don't think have sauce, so I can eat the sides. Maybe, maybe next time, fucking uh, Sam comes over, I'll do that. No, <laughs> I don't want to use the little Caesars for that. Why? It's not that. It's not worth that. No. You don't think? I don't know. Sam literally says that he likes little Caesars. <laughs> yeah, I know, but I I want pizza. I want to get like a fucking. Big dinner box with three pizzas. You know what pizza I probably hate the worst? Uh, Fox's. Fucking Fo Fox's pizza, yeah. Very, very mid. It's <clears throat> tasty. Four stars better. And four star isn't even like top three for me. Yeah. We're talking about local pizza places, everybody. Oh, it's, wait, four stars local? It's kind of. Yeah, it's relatively local. Not they have nationwide. Like, yeah, they don't have like a hundred locations. Is four star the pizza we always got for pizza parties at school? It was Fox's pizza. <laughs> okay, so maybe I don't like four star. The, Whichever uh, one we didn't get. with the uh, the general pizza, the fucking huge ass <laughs> pizza with the fucking. You know the pizza I got for my birthday. Uh huh. That was four star. Yeah, it's better. Fuck. They're all yeah. good. Pizza's good. Well, Foxes. I mean, yeah, pizza just in general is fucking A tier food. Literally, the fucking best pizza I've ever had was in New Mexico. I can't fucking have it again until I go back to New Mexico. Pizza. I'm not even like Damn. a big pizza person. That's why I'm very picky on pizza. Like, that one fucking, like. Bomb and pop pizzeria fucking place. <laughs> New Mexico made me fucking come in the desert. I want it. I want that. Oh, it's so fucking good. I want to put it in the sand. Maybe a little uh, sprout will grow from it. Maybe I'll take it yeah. to New Mexico just for pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can just take a road trip one day. Road trip to New Mexico. That's a fucking long ass drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like take a month fucking three days. <laughs> it's like a three day drive just to get there. 
was no, I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh, great heavens. Oh, great heavens. <sighs> we gotta... The thing that sucks is that there's no way we can get Hunter to try Domino's because he's not... We don't live near one unless we go to your house, Sam. <laughs> We do need to go to Coney's one of these days. Coney Island? I yes. wish. Coney 2012? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> oh. I don't Coney think that's do that. Wait, it's been 10 years since Coney 2012. <laughs> hey, this Yikes. What's going on with Coney? Wow. We were in high school. 10 years since the world was supposed to end. Almost 10 years. December. Yeah. yeah. I remember there was this one um, <clears throat> mentally disabled kid that w I, uh, was in my elementary school. And he was in my class in like fifth grade. And we'd just be hanging out at recess and then he'd be... Throwing rocks over... at him? No. Sometimes. Oh. No. Um, so we'd be over in the... He'd be over in the corner just like in complete despair. He's like, he kept saying like, 2012, the world's going to end. Nothing we're doing matters. It's all going to be over. 2012, the world's ending. What? So that was pretty fun to listen to. <laughs> I gen I genuinely thought the world was going to end in 2012. Like, <laughs> I, I was... remember standing at the bus stop that morning like, huh. Huh, I'm not dead. What's going to happen? <laughs> About a month before that was hap that was going to happen. I went, like, I was seeing my uh, half-sister at the time, I think, and she, we were, like, talking about, I think, the, like, my, my dad and her were having a conversation, and I was like, do you think the world's gonna end this month? And she gave me this fucking weird, now that I think back on it, kind of fucking cringy story about, like... <laughs> How they're gonna spend their uh, New Year's? What? When was it gonna happen? Like Christmas Day or something? It was like it was December twenty something. It was before on the Christmas. like the twenty first, twenty second. I don't know. Yeah. But that day, she was like, "We're gonna." Well, that day we're planning on going out into the middle of the field and watch the sky. And for some reason, <laughs> at the time, Damn. that fucking terrified me <laughs> an adult said that so you believed that the world was gonna end yeah. and i was like i wasn't young really i was like what how old was i i can't do you're that. probably for uh, 16 15 14 15 16 somewhere on there yeah <clears throat> but yeah i was still fucking stupid stupid kid <laughs> and she she said well for before she said the the field thing the reason she said field is because she lives on a huge farm. That's why the middle of the field, like she lives on a huge, scary farm. <laughs> so have a dark, big, open farm in your mind and then think about what that what I said a minute ago. Like them, it just sounded horrifying for some reason. Meteor crashing. And I also watched the movie, the the new movie that just released. At the time, yeah. like right before we went and saw, like saw them. So she told me that after I saw that movie, and I was just filled with fear by then. I was filled God with damn. it, and then it didn't happen. I felt stupid. I thought you were gonna say that this is like a a the mist moment <laughs> where she's like, "We're gonna go out to the field." And, I killed my sister. Know. I thought take we weren't going to get out of it. Take care of ourselves before it takes care of us. <laughs> I thought that's where you were going. Oh, you but thought that's what... Oh. I thought you were like, it terrified me. She said that she was going to kill all of us. All of them. No, no. Before just, it happened. It was just such a random... Going out on our own terms. Just because of how random her response was, it's like, it has to be true. Why would, why would she just say that? <laughs> Why would she say such random nonsense about what she's going to do that day? She literally just said what that's, popped into her head. That's insane. And then didn't say just kidding. <laughs> she that's how you know it was true. Yeah. 
And I kept asking my mom about it. I was like, you think the world's gonna end? Like, She's like, no, you fucking idiot. We're gonna die? Like, no, we're gonna be fine. You know, like what moms do. I had to get so much reassur reassurance after that. Wow. Mom's always really... there to help me out. I remember... <laughs> Leading uh, up to it. When around that time, too, since I'm younger than both of you, uh, a little bit more <laughs> naive, especially with my sister... Uh, her and her friend. <laughs> uh, I, you're probably the biggest punching bag to her. I was. Or at least you were, yeah. Uh, her friend Hannah was staying over, and it was like super late, and my sister came into my room along with Hannah and like sat me down and like went through like exactly what will happen when the world ends like that oh my night. god they probably watched the movie or something and it was the first time i was hearing about it so i was fucking panicking <laughs> oh my god first time hearing that the world was gonna end yeah you made it that far wow yeah and they're like all right well when you go to sleep you're not gonna wake up yeah. good night <laughs> that's pretty much what they said <laughs> <laughs> remember how fucking old am I now I was 12 I was 12 it's alright she was my punching bag at one point too um damn anyways yeah 2012 anyways. scary yeah <laughs> leading up to it I didn't really think too much about it and then the morning came and I was like huh alright <laughs> time to go to school <laughs> I thought you'd be the scaredest of us all no, I am a little a bitch baby. Rational thinker. I'm like, how the heck is the world going to even end? The Mayans are probably just like, erm, I'm done with this calendar. We've done this for 3,000 years. Let's stop. Yeah, probably. But, you know, the, the timeline all went awry when they killed that fucking gorilla. It's my favorite theory. Um, the world should have ended in 2012, though, because then Harambe wouldn't have died. But <laughs> the world would have ended, so he would have died just sooner. Uh, we would have had to witness it. <laughs> I mm, guess. Yeah. Even though nobody knew who Harambe was until it died. <laughs> but you know that's okay. Grape Coon wouldn't have died either. Grape Coon? So there's a was a penguin in a zoo in Japan and um they put like a cardboard cut out of some oh. chibi anime girl and he would just stare at her all the time like it was his girlfriend. It was a phenomenon. And then they passed away. And then they put a cardboard cut out of Grape Coon with his waifu. <laughs> Forever. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. Uh, it's cute, but it's funny. You guys keep My talking. I'll so be sad. right back. <clears throat> Are you gonna cough? No. Okay. It come. Yes. <laughs> um. <clears throat> I miss Grape Coon so much. I forgot Grape Coon was a thing. <laughs> Uh, are there any other famous zoo animals? Famous zoo animals. Uh, what's the fucking orca whale? Uh, not that I can. Shamu. Oh yeah, Sea World. Free Shamu. Is Shamu dead? Y yes. No. Yes. Yes. I want to say yes. But yes. Died in 1971? What? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? How, how did we miss that? Wait. What? That's so there's confused. there's got there has to be there has to be another whale with like the same fucking a similar name. There was There has to be, right? There was definitely another whale by the name of Shamu. Because the last I Shamu show was in 2000. Yeah, wasn't there like a fucking SNES game 
about Shamu? <laughs> All the... Or is that just a shark? I don't, I don't remember. I don't know. The only thing that I... I remember growing up and just knowing Shamu was a thing. And I had like an inflatable orca whale like that you'd put in the fucking pool. Free Willy? And... What? Free Willy? No, not Free Willy. We're talking about Shamu. Same thing. Oh, I mean... <laughs> is Free Willy a orca whale? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. Are you 100% on that? Yes. Look it up. You are actually right. Yeah, it is an orca whale. <laughs> wow. They had to have had, like, a new Shamu. Wait, there's a fucking Free Willy 3? The Rescue? What? He doesn't get uh, rescued till the third movie. I didn't even know there was. I didn't even know there was a second movie. Um, because it was probably bad, Hunter. Free Willy <laughs> Free: The Rescue premiered on August eighth, nineteen ninety seven, to mixed reviews from critics and was a box office bomb. Nice, nice, you, nice. Three point so, million. so the Shamu. Shamu died, but they kept calling the show Shamu, like the the whale performance. Is that it? They kept, they still just, they just called it Shamu. Oh, and they just put in a different fucking. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think that's what I'm gathering. Prisoned another fucking whale. Yes. Wasn't there a movement to close Sea World? Yes. Yes. Are you Not eating another word. mint sandwich? No. Melanie gave me her leftover food. Oh. Mint sandwich. Hey, you guys, if, if our viewers might be into this shit. <laughs> what? Mint? No, into me eating. Oh. This is the eating episode? Well, just yes. so you know that there was a fourth free will movie. <laughs> it came out in 2010. They wanted Jesus money so Christ. bad. And it's not it's even like, the same whale. Or, yeah, the same orca whale. That's like, there's like, what, six Sharknados? There's like eight. Jesus Christ. Wasn't our local heroes on the radio on that in that Hero movie? Six. What'd you say? You guys know Dave and Jimmy? No. You do. No. Do I? There's no way you you really don't know them. Give me the Dave and Jimmy. <laughs> Dave and Jimmy. It's, it's a radio show. Okay. Like, okay. It's it's our local radio show, dude. It every morning, they it's the same shit. Is it on like Froggy or some shit? No, not Froggy. It's uh, it's, I think not it's on, on the Magic. Rock one. Maybe on Magic. Magic. I think magic. It's like on early morning. I I feel like I thought everybody knew about them, so but I, I guess want it doesn't you to matter now. Guess the last time I sat down and listened to the radio. <laughs> Probably not in the last seven years. Yeah, but also right. same. <laughs> same. Dude, I love it's just Dave and Jimmy. The only thing I remember. Keep going. Go ahead. Nope. We're on the bus, funny. like in the bus, it would be on. And then when I was going to work at Walmart, like, for the first year, when I didn't have my own car with Bluetooth, I just listened to it, because I was uh, coming home from my night shift, and it was just on in the morning. I just thought everyone knew about it for some reason. I don't remember it on the bus, um, but I also just didn't... The bus was a bad time. I listened it to really my own was. music on the bus. <laughs> yeah. Um, also, the Dave and Jimmy radio show shared on Facebook that R. Kelly contracts COVID in jail. That's sick. <laughs> 14 hours ago. Oh, 14 hours ago. That's a news update. Sweet. Yeah, I can't believe George Michael got COVID Shut in jail. Shut the fuck up! Um, Same people. No! Yeah, didn't you see the photo? I literally made it one of our thumbnails. Also, that video has a 50-50 like-dislike ratio. <laughs> really? Yeah. Why? I don't, I don't know. Oh. To be fair, it's only one like and one dislike. So. 
right. it's not like a big deal. Uh, big deal to me. That was a good episode. I thought it was. It was funny. It was really funny. Actually, that was the one where Sam said that he wanted to see your grandma's pussy. Uh, <laughs> people disliked it. Someone did. That's Somebody sucked. did. Somebody along the way. I will find you and I will kill you. <laughs> yeah, let's talk about this podcast grind I've been on. I've edited six podcasts uh, after work between Monday and today. And we're recording two more today. That's crazy. We should do a mukbang. Um, no. <laughs> I'm doing one right now. I can tell. Just to... Should I... Should I, like, keep the sounds in? I guess. It's... If it's bad, I'm I'm probably gonna take them out, but I guess we'll see. People are gonna be pissed. <laughs> um... See, so yeah, I watch for the mukbang coming up. No, I'm not doing a fucking mukbang. <laughs> What well, dude, we can each eat like three pizzas. No. That'd be a good time. Um Well fine. Sam and I will do it ourselves. Okay, you, you guys can do it. I'm not. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay, boomer. I'm younger than you. We should we should I I'm liking this. No, I'm seeing a video. <laughs> so, Hunter doesn't have to be there because he's a loser. Oh we'll um, use the desk that's in my room. Because yeah. not the one that my computer's on. We can... Or no, we'll just use the fucking folding table. So what, I wanna, what I'm thinking is we make a Nick Avocado parody. Yeah. We'll get... Uh, I'll be Bill. the boyfriend, you'll be him. No, it'll be... Uh, Oh, okay. We'll play, like we'll play ourselves, but like we kind of like have his quirks while we're doing it, and we're gonna make such a fucking mess. And I see what we're gonna eat. We're gonna we're gonna order like fifteen large fries from McDonald's. <laughs> I was gonna say McDonald's. You can get like, f- hold on, go on. We can get a like just a shit ton of fries. Cover. Like right under our heads with just fries, and then you know, we won't actually eat it, but like we'll just eat them throughout the video and just kind of make fun of them. But I don't, we I, should, <laughs> we should do, oh my gosh, maybe I shouldn't say, that. yeah, okay, who cares? We should do a mukbang where we have a shit ton of food, but instead we have like a sophisticated conversation, like we try to teach each other about some like complicated subject. And then just like have like three French fries throughout the whole thing, and then just call it a mukbang. First off, you're gonna be the one teaching. <laughs> okay. Um, I have no complicated subjects in my brain that I could try and teach you. Hunter can describe the Kingdom Hearts uh, lore to you, Sam. Super easy. Hunter but can like, describe the Metal Gear Solid lore to you. That Sam. is a lot more hard. <laughs> <laughs> but I could probably do it. A lot um, of politics. A lot of big cocks and no cum. I was thinking you could like try and explain chemistry to me or something. <laughs> okay. But I don't know how to chemistry? make that funny because then you'd just be explaining chemistry and I'd be going... Oh, like a monkey. <laughs> yeah, but but we'd have food in front of us. Yeah, but there has to be like, People I need more of upset. a punch, a punch in this episode. Like, there needs to be like a funny element, like a really funny element to it. I just mm. don't, I don't, we'll have mm. to think more we'll on that. We'll workshop it. Yeah. Did you know that you can get 40 nuggets and two large fries for 20 bucks? I, feel like you'd need I did to get not more know that. that. Yeah, wait, that's stupid. Because you can get a twenty piece and a basket of fries for eight. So we do that <laughs> order like four times. Four times, and then on the app, they usually have deals for like twenty percent off. So we do that. 
it's so funny that I wasn't thinking about the cost at all. Listen, I'm a penny pincher, all right? It's in my blood. It's in my genes. There's pennies in my genes. They're pinching me. Ow, stop. Okay, right, so we'll workshop that idea. I also like the idea of making pancakes without a recipe or utensils. Maybe a spatula to flip it, <laughs> but... I was going to say, I'm not flipping a that's pancake it. with my hands. <laughs> Just fucking pick it up off the griddle. I think that would be a good idea. I like that. We have to cook. No, we have to make a complex recipe with one medium-sized bowl and chopsticks. <sighs> I mean, we could use the chopsticks to flip the whatever we do. Right, but like... But no, we can make it a competition. We can make it like a game, you know? No recipe, no utensils, and then we'll judge it. I'm just copying Markiplier almost, but I think it's a fun thing. They're one of my favorite videos that he does. Yeah, we're going to need Talk some to skits so we, they can get more... So our viewers can get content, actual content. <laughs> On yeah, no, he's so gonna... they can justify listening to them for hours on, on a podcast. Yeah, we... yeah the podcasts are like filler content, <laughs> except that's all we're releasing. That is yeah. everything I have. Because it's, I don't want to say it's easy to do, but it's easy to do. The podcast compared to like actually skits. Yeah. Sets, skits. But I, I do want to do more of that. Blah blah blah, obviously. I think that I think the recipe thing would be a good way to get into it because there's not a lot of prep to it. You just kind of show up and you do it and then I edit it. You know? Yeah. That would <clears throat> it's a good work. way to we dip our toes. Good way to dip our toes. We can do a vlog. We can we can start vlogging every day. I'm just kidding. I was gonna say we, do a, we can do a longboarding vlog, longboarding in Pokemon Go. <laughs> it's too bad that was uh, eight years ago. <laughs> Not eight; it was like six years ago when that would have gotten views. <clears throat> Still, probably get a few clicks on that. A boy can dream. A boy can dream. Oh, oh boy, um, tired, tired fella. Oh my gosh, where am I? Hello. Hi. Mm. Stumbled upon the abyss. Artorius, is that you? Yes, it is me, Artorius. I don't. I don't remember you sounding like that. I don't remember you sounding like anything. They wouldn't let me talk in the game. It's me, Artorius, Knight of the Abyss, with my dog. Uh, oh, that's why they didn't let you talk because they didn't like your voice. They didn't oh, want to give me they... so much money. Oh, cheapskates! I see. <clears throat> Sam, did you buy that PS Five? Yeah, Sam. No, I'm actively paying my rent right now. <laughs> I yeah, forgot that's... to yesterday. Uh -oh. oh, no. One that's day, it doesn't stinky. really matter. They don't say anything. It's like one or two days. Yeah, I think we have like five days, but I always pay it before. It's either four or five Good days. Good noodles. Dude, I had a dream <laughs> no way. that fucking... <clears throat> the tall part of our building. I don't want to give too much away, but the tall part of our building, like we were in it and it was during like a tornado and it was just rocking back and forth like crazy. It was a pretty scary dream. You might actually have cancer. <laughs> I don't think that's what that means, but <laughs> the, the dream, the dream, <laughs> you have a the dream actually started out right with, now. We walked into the like 
first floor and our pool <laughs> that we just had in the building was like overflowing it was like too high and like fucking electronics and shit were getting wet like it was on the like the base floor level and i was like that shouldn't that's shouldn't be right that's our pool's not that high filled with water and then i look out and there's a window on the second floor that was part of like a building that we did an apartment that we didn't have access to was just leaking water down the side of the fucking wall on the outside into our window. <laughs> and that was filling up our first floor thing. And I dream jumped that I texted our landlord, but we have a slight no problem here. Yeah. And then eventually somebody showed up and we went into that tall part of the building. No, before that they were like, is it raining? And I was like, no, the, I don't know. There's like a leak or something upstairs or somebody left something on. Um, and they were like, is it raining? And I was like, no. And I looked outside and I was like, oh, what do you know? And it started fucking raining. <laughs> of course. And then we went up to the tall part and then it was like a fucking tornado was forming. I saw it outside, like the beginning of a tornado and the shit was like rocking back and forth. Not only that, but like the stairs to get up to it were just stupid and so easy to fall down all the way. <laughs> there wasn't railings. And it was like a spiral staircase with an opening in the center. So that was stupid. Sounds dope. And that was the dream that I had right before I woke up this morning. Uh, Pretty cool. I didn't have a dream because uh, I'm a alpha Chad. Oh, I see how it is. I'm living the dream. That's very epic. Also, Sam and I, even though we were drunk and we were when we were reading the Sonichu Volume Zero, uh, the part where he was Chris Chan Sonichu, Sam and I synced up like pretty well for most of it. It's kind of funny. Yeah, it's like we weren't thinking about it too much, so it was just easy. <laughs> we were in perfect synergy. And I'm gonna be honest, I read faster when I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think you even said that. You're like, I am I can read better when I'm drunk. What the fuck? I think you said that while cool. we were reading it. That was a fun time. My super mega book finally came in. Uh, I noticed I sent, that. I sent these bozos like a thousand pictures of it. Uh, yeah, I'm only did. 20 pages in. Um, <laughs> you st stopped him in his track. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, you did. You did. I mean, I did though. I sent so many pictures. Thanks. Um, but those twenty pages that I read, yeah, I know the entire time. It's laughing your ass smiling. off. Yep, I was grinning <laughs> ear to ear. It was just—it's just a fun time. Like it was definitely written by them. <laughs> it was definitely, definitely know their audience too. Shit's so funny. They like. They plugged their merch store twice in those 20 pages. <laughs> and they showered twice. They showered together twice <laughs> in those 20 pages. How do you, why, like, you got to buy uh, Gino Samuel. Uh, the audio book. Yeah. yeah, because they put fucking sound effects in it. Like in the shower scene, they have a sample. In the shower scene, they, um, put like shower sounds what which is crazy so shower sounds like the, good uh, kind. The, the water the water dripping out of the shower like a psh. Uh, sounds of two men in the shower yeah am I really gonna be immersed is what I'm Ryan asking Ryan paints his little piggies yes it's almost like you're watching a movie without the visuals. That's how much like sound they put in it. It's crazy. It's so good. I I need to wa read more. I must said watch more. I need to read more. Um, I feel kind of stupid reading it because the font's so big. <laughs> but it might also be because it's like a hardcover and it's a decently it's a decent sized book. Like I don't know if the paperbacks are smaller and the hardcover is just like an enlarged version of that 
but the photograph on the back of them, so funny. Um, I didn't expect it to have illustrations, which was a pleasant surprise. And um, at one point, for no reason, they referred to Matt as at Matt H. Watson, which <laughs> is his Twitter handle. You gotta get those plugs in there, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they were like, after the shower, they were like, we got into our uh, comfortable Super Mega merch available at supermegamart.net. And then they were like, ah, man, this is very comfortable. I hear that they uh, use the best cottons for these. <laughs> they're like, that's right, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, it was just so funny. Shameless plugs. Um, you gotta love it. Can't wait till we can do shameless plugs. I know. I want to. Um, merch is merch would be cool. I don't want like YouTuber merch. I'd rather have just a merch line of stuff that looks good and not things that are necessarily like references to our channel or like a logo. I mean, that can be present somewhere. Uh, I don't know, like on the fucking tag or something. See, but if I if I release merch, I'd probably rather it just be stuff that like you can wear and be considered normal. Literally, fucking. Uh... I don't know why for a little while now uh, I've been wanting uh, both of you know me I wear a fuck ton of baseball tees it's like all I wear uh, for Gosh. a while I just wanted a baseball tee when in like the top what would be like the top right corner just like the weekly gig logo that's it like relatively small you know that'd be fun yeah we can do that. Yeah. We can do that pretty easily. We can get uh, vinyl that you print on. It's just we'll definitely lose money. <laughs> yeah. Well, I just mean, I mean for us. We can, uh, oh my God, we can make fucking fake merch and wear it in our videos. And be like, if you want to see this, uh, support That's us fun. better and then we'll do yeah, the, it. <laughs> the weekly gig logo is a little bit more minimalistic. It's not like fucking big old Tabuscus logo across the entire front of your hoodie that I wore every day in ninth grade. Buy that merch. Or Buy like funny merch. funny YouTube reference to an old joke that uh, we won't care about in a year. <laughs> like, Mar okay, I hate bringing up Markiplier's such a role model, but his cloak brand merch... I want to wear that. Like, I see that, and I'm like, it's minimal. It's cool. It's not it's called hip. Markiplier it's brand. Fresh. It's It's cloak. I think Mark and uh, Sean do it. Jacksepticeye. I don't know who, who exactly does the cloak merch, but it's Markiplier, and I think somebody else is also part of it. But he always wears it in his videos, and it looks sweet. Bruh. What do you mean, bruh? <laughs> Dude, he's the best. I like other YouTubers. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually kill somebody. God. I'm gonna kill you. Fucking do it right now. I'm fucking do it. Right. I'm literally in the next room. Fucking do it. <laughs> no, that's okay. Fucking bitch. All right, so I'm on the cloak store, and a lot of this stuff is not stuff that I would wear. <laughs> what the fuck? They have, like, a Minecraft. They have erasers? <clears throat> okay, well, the cloak merch that Markiplier wears in his videos is the cloak merch that I, <laughs> that I would like to, or is, yeah, fuck you. What the fuck is this Buy that merch. Website. Buy that. Merch. Cloakbrand.com? Yeah. I'll let it open and just but I'm not seeing, like, any of the good shit. <laughs> I've seen a bunch of minimalist stuff. I guess I'm in the wrong fucking section. It's on their homepage. They almost gave me a fucking seizure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, it has the, this weird logo thing, but that's not... The logo's not quite... 
what I was thinking of. I don't know. 80 fucking bucks? <laughs> 30 bucks for a t-shirt? Wow. Yeah, it's pretty... It's pretty spingy. 25 bucks for a beanie? I'm I'm finna buy that merch though. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, we should we should all get a baseball tee get. and put the fucking and put the get weekly down. gig logo get on down. it. Get that is down. a good idea. That is the sickness. A good idea. Let's do that. We need a printer that works. No, but other than that. <laughs> Baseball tees aren't that expensive either if you no, get they're, blank they're ones. Fucking cheap. That's why I wear them. Yeah. Let's do that. This the title of this podcast is We Make Merch. <laughs> JK Lol. We Lol Random. We have the best merch. <laughs> Lol Tet Random. Oh no. Don't fucking remind me of the dark times. Naruto Telandum Random Flashness. Super Naruto Fan Flash. Naruto American Idol. These are all videos that I watched when I was little. It's great. I'm going to watch Naruto American Idol right now. Don't. Don't. <laughs> Don't. We're, we're recording a podcast. Uh, let me see if I can find like one thing. A little bit. Too um, there was a there it is. Naruto fan flashes. I I watched the shit out of that in our te random flashness. Here, I'll link to this. So there was a there was a Naruto quote unquote music video animation that um is what exposed me to My Chemical Romance's Black Parade. <laughs> That's how I found out about that song. <laughs> I love that. And then the, the person also did Animal I've Become, and that's what exposed me to that song. Oh, Lord. Obviously, it was him and fucking the Nine-Tailed Fox. Resident Evil knew a remake. Why does that look familiar? You've probably seen it. If it's I have, it's only because you showed it to me. Probably. Or Steve. It's literally just the fucking Numa Numa song with Resident <laughs> Evil characters. I... What the fuck? <laughs> this is triggering me. I I feel like I've seen this one time in my life. I've seen it so many times. That's funny. Dude. Well, I'm going to watch this after too. Hell it's yeah. It's so fucking bad. Dude, the Naruto American Idol is just like a Microsoft PowerPoint um, with text and in between the songs, it just plays fucking High School Never Ends <laughs> by Bowling for Soup. <laughs> and then it just shows an animation that they stole from somebody. <laughs> Of of a, char- a Naruto character singing a song, and Sasuke sings "My Band" uh, by Eminem's band, the only song that they have ever made. I don't know. I think I'm like <sighs> Dude, more cringe than the fucking Resident Evil Numa. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta find all of these fucking Naruto to random flashness. Uh, I'm, I'm. I'm going down the rabbit hole after this. What are some cringy videos you've watched, Sam? We know you have. Uh, old videos? Yeah. Oh, I used to watch no. the fan flashes on Newgrounds. Were those bad, though? I remember that Resident Evil one you showed me, Eddie, where the guy's like jerking off behind a wall really hard. And then he <laughs> what turn- video is that? And then he turns around and just blasts the enemy with his cum. It's pretty cool. Was that Resident Evil? 
Uh, maybe. If it, if it was, Hunter no. would know it. No, it was Gears of War. Oh! <laughs> Gears of Awesome. Gears of Awesome. Gears of Halo. Theft oh, no, 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 it's Queers of War. Oh, yeah. No. That's what it was. Exactly. And then they did one where it was a, cl a clown, too. You want to know what's funny, Sam, is that Jeff was a big part of Queers of War. And Jeff? I don't know why. I don't know why I think that's so funny. Johnny Utah. Oh, he like voiced like almost everybody that was in that video. I think. What the fuck? Just funny. I watched a lot of. Fucking I forgot he queers of war. Kind of like a, that is an you guys old your video. AMVs. I watched a bunch of like video game music videos, especially Halo. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do another Halo 3 ODST Unknown Shit Soldier Song Remember by Eddie when we Benjamin? wanted When we wanted to make an AMV For te uh, Teco And then we didn't Oh yeah cause they have AMV competitions And we li I literally made AMVs For Vine Remember that We did yeah. that we did. I forgot yours, about that. Yours got more views than mine. I feel like. <laughs> did they? No, I don't. I don't know. Oh, I don't why can't Vine be up? I would love to see them. I want to well, see what so, we made. I think I have most, if not all, of them saved. How? Because when Vine announced that it was shutting down, the app Kube. Um made a thing where you could you could uh trans like transition all of your stuff over to their app and it like it's on it was on both but they just made it so like you uploaded like all your videos got uploaded to that app so i have all of my vines and i'm pretty sure i have what the fuck was it anim edits that's what we called it anim edits like yeah anime edits I think I have all those on there too somewhere. Oh, it was one account and me and you both put shit on it. Yes. Please find it. I mean, I can pull it up pretty quick. Please I... just send me them in Messenger. Just send them to me. <laughs> I will sit there and watch them. Not while we're recording, but I need them. Yeah. I think so. Unless they got taken down. Please don't get me this hard and then take it away. No, I know for a fact I have him saved somewhere. For a fact. Maybe on an older phone? No. Saved on a website. A website. Like, I might have my one on Instagram. But. No, I swear. I'll find it. I'm going to break my monitor. I swear. <laughs> Unless they took that shit off. Coob. But I don't know why they would. It doesn't make any sense. I have literally none of my old videos. And I'm very glad that I don't. <laughs> really? I'm... I am... Like upset that I deleted some of my old YouTube videos. I am not. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I think they got rid of all the Vine videos on Kube. No. Because I can't find any of the Vines. Oh, that's so shitty. <laughs> I have my Vines on here. Like my personal ones. But I don't have... I can't find the anime ones. No, they're gone. All of my likes are gone. Uh oh. Three of my th I have three of my reposts are there for some reason. But that's it. Gonzo. That's so shit. I wonder what why did they take them off? That doesn't make any sense. None of my likes are there. I remember there was a good amount that c carried over. Damn. Well, <laughs> I think you made a Sword Art Online one. 
I made a she sweet one. I know that. Didn't I make a? Uh... I think I think what you did is you stole other people's AMVs and like swapped the music or something like that. At least yeah. for one of them. For one of them, I think you might have. Fuck up, Sam. You stealing content? <laughs> Maybe not. I don't know. I don't remember doing that, but I also don't remember not making doing that. that. <laughs> yeah. Just I have up. my one on in Instagram. <laughs> That's it. Kube failed me. I thought I was safe. Shit's gone. So disappointing. We're gonna look it look it up. If Coob removed vines. Coob is dead. Coob has been dead. Coob will always yeah. be dead. I killed Coob. I don't know if it ever lived, but Exactly. Killed it in the womb. Well they could have just let their app rot with our videos on it. Couldn't they? Yeah, I don't know what happened. Because I know that I did both accounts. I had to have. And all the vines, like my likes, they're just, all the vines are gone. The The coops that I liked are there. There's like three vines, but that's it. I don't know what happened. Sadness. Damn. No, you just hate to see oh. it. Oh... Well, thanks, Coob. You ruined our childhood. All right, well, let's end this podcast on a bad note. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is getting to be about time. That sucks. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what else to talk about. Shit doesn't make any sense. There's like two vines that are on there still. Huh? The only ones that matter. It's okay. No. It doesn't. It, it's gone. It's gone, Eddie. It's gone. All right, I'm going to stop. It. He got to let go. So they'll never I, come back. I finished the Chris Chan documentary at well I got to his hiatus portion. Yes. So I'm caught up. Um I even watched his stream about, you know, recent events about uh him and Gina his Samuel mother or Chris. What? Whose stream? Gina Samuel? Yeah. His stream okay. that he made at the end where he was talking about his hiatus. And mm. yeah, I'm a little disappointed in Chris. But a I'm little? also I'm also <laughs> deeply disappointed in the parenting. Cause I don't yeah. care what Chris is doing. As the parent, you don't do that. You don't let that happen. You don't you don't get to that point as a parent. <laughs> the bullying and shit online and the trauma that he experienced, I feel for him on that because he did relentlessly get trolled. Oh, for sure. To, like, literally beaten down year after year. And he just kept... And because of his disability, he kept going back thinking it could be different the next time. Or thinking he was winning. By ignore quote w ignoring the haters when he wasn't he wasn't ignoring them he just said mm -hmm. he was out loud therefore it wasn't happening until yeah. he made a video of himself crying and screaming hey, Jackie. the second or the third to the last episode that was wild like I, uh... another girl another girl <laughs> got him I'm not quite caught up but I thought. Okay. Shit. It's okay. I won't say anything else past that, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you spoil it, I'm not going to be worried about it. It doesn't, but it's like. It doesn't matter. It's Chris Chan. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, it's like you're going to watch it anyway. Same and shit, different day. It's, it's going to be an experience on its own, not just me saying what happened, but it's like another girl. Like the moment it happened, the moment he said, like, I finally found my sweetheart. I was like, no, Chris. No, no, you did it. In fact, it is a lie. God, piss me off. But yeah, I don't know that. It's just so unfortunate that it ended like this. I no longer feel for him though, because 
sometimes things get too broken. You have to let it die. <laughs> mm -mm. You know, I had a I had an art professor that had a saying um, that was kind of funny. Don't do he incest. Said, that too. I remember he said that a lot. It was kind of it was kind of weird at the time. I didn't really understand why he said that, but um, he said, "Kill it or make it live." Um, definitely should have killed it. <laughs> oh, for sure. I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about like fucking abortion. I'm talking about like I am the the whole situation. Um, I mean, first of all, dude, just stay on Nintendo. Nintendo has done an amazing thing, in my opinion. A, such a, a kid-friendly environment where you can't type your own shit. You can only say what's given to you. It They're just overall friendlier uh, people. I mean, on the Miiverse, you could. Could you type, though? Yes. You could, not like, swear. You, I don't think it let you swear. I don't think it let you... Like, it was so heavily guarded too on top of that yeah. like i don't know i i've it, I, nintendo's the most wholesome place in my opinion the most wholesome place where a kid <laughs> yeah should like that should be I mean, where a kid goes like i don't think i'm gonna give even... <laughs> my kid internet access until he's fucking that's not gonna happen whatever you're about to say it's not gonna happen probably not um, but you know what i mean like, I don't they, know. Uh, I, I'm going to, I'm going to like push it. I'm going to push for Nintendo as hard as I can, but whatever happens, happens. Go ahead. Nintendo is sweet. Um, but you're right. They did make a, a child friendly environment and everybody is allowed environment because they took down Chris's underwater pyramid video 8,000 times. His yep. flip note of him like coming in his pants <laughs> underwater. <laughs> I kind of want to, I want to watch the original. Um, I'm sure Gino Samuel put it up on like the video, but I watch it on, or I listen to it on Spotify while I'm driving. So. Yeah, he puts it up on, on video on YouTube. A lot of stuff. Good. Literally everything that he's talking about. There's there's picture evidence everything yeah, like he like, got everything. All of his like, all of Chris's amiibos and stuff. That figurines that she made of like Sonichu and her and the yeah. jerk ops. Like I didn't see what those looked like. They looked pretty bad. They look like they look like they were chewed, chewed on. <laughs> it, like imagine measure. a good amiibo. Like that had some type of promise in it somewhere. Like it, like you, you definitely couldn't make it your first try. Look better, but it definitely looked like it was chewed on. Oh yeah, that's good. Give it to the dogs. It's got a little, little flavor to it. Oh, did um, you guys get to the part where his cat got fucking hit by a car and lived? Yeah. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oh my god. Everything's a fucking tragedy. I know. And then and then he had to take it to the vet and its pupil like wouldn't stop being dilated. And it was like had had a weird breathing pattern that just sounded awful on video. Yeah. Oh god. Like there was video. There's one video I think when he was like watching a lunar eclipse or whatever in like twenty eighteen and the cat was outside with him and he's talking. And he just looks down because you you hear the cat going, ah, rah, ah, rah, 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 rah. and then he looks down like, oh hey there, whatever I forget his name. What's his name? A long ass weird name, but regardless, it was pretty fucked up. So much bad shit. All right, we've talked about Chris Chan for four out of like the last ten episodes of the weekly That's gig. Fine. It's so, but there's just, it's, it's a big part of our much. lives right now. It's hours of content that we've all consumed. Hours. Oh. Yeah, Fifty-nine parts. I'm at the fucking parts about forty-five minutes. About two thousand six hundred fifty-five minutes divided by sixty. 
44 hours. Nice. Um, I'm at the part where she is selling a shit ton of like amiibos and medallions and put some of the comics online so then people can actually buy. And she's starting to make videos again, and the trolls are starting to emerge again. Yeah, so that's where. So I'm you got at. over the long stretch of of her not making videos. You just got over it. <laughs> yeah, because there was a good ten episodes. Uh, also, 10 with parts. her court with the pepper spray, they kept putting it off for a fucking year. Like yeah. literally, all they had to do was be like, "All right, you're good." Like, like it's not like it was a major case. I mean, maybe it was. It could have been considered assault but crazy um and with that <coughs> exactly jesus christ yeah mukbang coming soon uh lots of merch, that lots more merchandise that. for only us and not you yet coming soon and uh I guess we'll see you in the next one. Episode 27. 27. Oh my gosh. And we're still trucking. Uh, uh, bye, I guess. I don't fucking know.